to be all about. It is sitting right here. Most of you will remember this tin from years ago. I think it might have been last year or possibly the year before. More than likely the year before last. And we are going to give you an update on what foods Pixie and Roxy are currently on just now. A change of food, yes, I know, again, you will be like that for goodness sake, Claire, pick a food and just be done with it. Um, I guess I get the fear of them becoming really unwell if they don't eat their food. They become sick, they, become to, they, they begin to vomit when they don't eat their food and they still refuse to eat their food no matter what I do with it. So to prevent that from happening and vet bills and all that kind of stuff, I obviously change their food and it works for a while and then it doesn't and then we have to change again and that is just my view and my opinion on it and that is what I do despite a lot of people's comments to say you're changing their food too much, this, that and t'other. It's not that we're changing it because new stuff's coming out or whatever we're changing it because we don't want them to become sick because they're just going to continue to refuse to eat their meal despite us trying to encourage them to eat it so anyway enough of that on with this so this is the food that we decided to go for now we've been on this food for i want to say two months now maybe just borderline two months and uh, this food we've been on before, you all know that we've been on Lily's Kitchen before. I haven't obviously told you what it is that we're on, but it's here plain and simple, right in front of your very eyes. We are on Lily's Kitchen yet again. Now, I am excited to be back on this brand for the mere fact I knew that Roxy's tear stains reduced and almost cleared up on this food. And I am loving that we are going to be trying this food again. Now, what I will say is I did record a video when I first purchased Lily's Kitchen a couple of weeks ago however I wasn't 100% sure that it was going to go okay so I never ever posted the video I think I made the video too soon um, but I will insert the clips of what it is that we got in the order at the end of this um, video just to let you see what it is that we got for them now what I will say is that we got the trays of organic wet meat which we now do not use because that just prolonged Pixie's illness I would have to say um, and after we took her off that she started to become more her normal self so they are on a hundred percent dry food which is great because it means that I don't have like stinky faces i don't have to mash up like wet food all the time before their meal it's just so much easier and it's cheaper as well that because you know it was probably the cost issue which is why i changed off to lily's kitchen in the first place however i decided to go back there and we don't need to buy wet meat anymore so it's obviously less cost effective it's more cheaper than um a2 that we were on anyway 
So we started off with the organic chicken, which was great, and I thought it's great. We're going to get to see changes in Roxy's tear stains. However, Pixie still was not really liking the organic just chicken, um, and I again was afraid that they were going to go off and be sick and not eat it. And I think, given that she had been quite unwell to begin with, I just wanted her to eat food. Um, Roxy, on the other hand, didn't really realise what flavour was getting put down to her, if there was wet meat or no wet meat in it whatsoever. The food, the face was just in the bowl and it was just hoovered up literally in two seconds. There's like no filling this lady whatsoever. Mm. So I decided to go with another flavour of Lily's Kitchen. It's not organic but it is grain free and the grain free food is so much better. Now I use this tin, I basically got this tin probably I want to say in 2016 it must have been when we actually purchased all this stuff. Um, so I let my mum borrow this tin, she's kept it and she's gave me a bag. So I store their food in this tin and I basically just fill it up when I need to and I do actually need to fill it up today because it is almost empty but it stores quite a bit of food in it I know you can't really see in it but I keep the re-scoop in there and they just get um, it weighed out they get 40 grams a meal and the reason why they get 40 grams a meal instead of 45 grams a meal is because I'm watching their weight they both weigh exactly 8 kilograms before Pixie was unwell she weighed 8.3 kilograms and I'm like mm, that's kind of borderline she's you know obviously quite a, a, a petite dog it's not that she's overweight or anything but I just wanted to watch what weight she was on we were obviously advised by the vet to stick with 80 grams a day due to Roxy's joint problems we didn't want her getting overweight either so we are on the Lily's Kitchen Chicken and Duck Grain Free so we can now get the food in pets at home. We do not need to order it online and it's probably so much easier for me to return. If the girls ever go off it, then they will have the return and it saves me having to post it away back to Lily's kitchen. I can just return it to pets at home and give them my receipt and that is great. So we decided to go there and this obviously Store. They obviously stock all the flavours in the dry food which is great however I'm not going to start testing each and every flavour again. I am going to stick to the one flavour and that is it. Now I decided we went through a couple of the one kilogram bags and they were literally scoffing it that much I just decided you know what I'm just going to buy the big seven kilogram bag because I was so close to saying to Jamie when you pop into Asda and go to pets at home, buy the 2.5 kilogram bag at 16.99. But I thought to myself, it's probably more cost effective and probably cheaper to buy the bigger bag just now. And if obviously they go off or ever we need to change again, God forbid, and touch wood that we don't need to, um, that you know it's easy enough to return and it's just literally a drive away. So this is the bag here. I've not opened this bag yet. But let me just try it and pull it up on the table. Oh, here we go. So this is the bag here and it is seven kilograms. It has literally all the goodness in it. I have recent I have previously done videos on this brand before and what I will do is I will link them in the description box of my Lily's Kitchen orders. We were on Lily's Kitchen for quite some time and I want to say it was great. We were on the wet meat as well. However I think the lady's stomachs haven't really acquired to having wet meat to be honest i think their stomachs are just too sensitive for that now um, but the best before date on this bag is next year which is great um, it's grain free it's got the joint care in it so it's got the glucosamine and the conjointin in it not as much as what a2 has got in it but at least it's got that in it um, the size of the biscuits are great it has for those of you who haven't watched our videos before, I'm just literally going to run through the, ingredient, the ingredients quite quickly. So it's 31% chicken, 8% duck, 3% chicken liver, 30% sweet potato, 6.5% peas, lentils, pea protein, flaxseed egg, chicken gravy, calcium carbonate, salmon oil, 
fructose, however you want to pronounce that, um, apples, vitamins, minerals, carrots, spinach, cranberries, and it's got the glucosamine is 175 milligrams per kilogram, and the glucosamine, oh, the chondroitin is 125 milligrams um, per kilogram as well, which is great. Uh, it looks as if it's got MSM in it as well, 175 milligrams per kilogram, which is great. It's also got the herbs in it, so it has alfalfa, rose hips, chickweed, chickweed, cleavers, goldenrod, nettles, kelp, celery, milk thistle, dandelion root, burdock root, marigold petals, and chicory root, which is great. So I am literally loving the fact that we are back on Lily's kitchen. I know a lot of comments um, on our videos are, can you please do another Lily's kitchen haul? Can you please do another video for Lily's kitchen? And we weren't on Lily's kitchen at the time. However, we are now, but I'm keeping it very basic because we were quite experimental the last time, I would have to say, buying all these different flavours, treats, all that kind of stuff. The treats, what I will say, is I will probably buy again. Um, the wee pork puffs, um, the girls absolutely loved. They loved it. I used, I call them, I call them pork puffs, but they are described, I describe them like a packet of quavers. They're like pork quavers. Um, but I, I obviously ordered that the last time and you will see that at the end of this video, um, the, the video of our order, but I'll keep it very brief, very short because um, obviously we don't have some of the stuff that we've ordered now so I'll probably just cut those bits out. Um, but yes, we've done that a fair few weeks ago so I will include that in the order, in the video. Um, and that is us. So the girls have been on this for over a month to six weeks, possibly two months now. And I am super excited to see even if the green free makes a difference to Roxy's tear stains. And she's currently sitting down there eyeing up the bag of food because she knows I'm going to open it and she knows I'm going to fill the tub up. So I decided to try it again and go back to it. Now, since we have went back to it, they've been on it now for, well, I want to say Roxy's been on it for the longest because Pixie was on the veterinary food for an upset stomach. Um, we've been on it now for about two weeks. No, a week. A week going on two weeks um, and all is well with it. So. We gradually introduced her to it after coming off of the veterinary food so she gradually went on to it over the space of like five days we just sprinkled a couple of biscuits into the veterinary wet meat that she was getting and then we changed the wet meat to the Lily's kitchen meat and it was great so poops are back to normal she's fit and healthy she's running about as if she's never been ill she's drinking on her own now that's great so I decided to make my first order because obviously pets at home now stock Lily's kitchen so it's just basically like a drive away and I can go and pick up some trays or dry food or whatever and um, so I initially picked up um, two bags of dry food we've been through one bag and I picked up some trays of wet food so the bag I picked up from pets at home was just a wee one kilogram bag because I didn't want to go over the top and buy a big bag and then obviously I was going to have problems so I just bought the wee individual bags so this is the one kilogram bag I think yes this is the one kilogram bag of the chicken and the duck grain free recipe and obviously it's got your joint bone support and it's got immune system support and it's got prebiotics for healthy digestion and it's got all your healthy ingredients in it. Now this is the adult free range chicken and the duck. So this is the one that we started them on and we obviously mixed it in with a wee bit of meat which is the Lily's Kitchen Organic Chicken Supper with Carrot and Peas which is this one here. And basically what I do Again with this, you'll have probably have watched our previous Lily's Kitchen vlogs and I've had quite a lot of comments, you know, to go back onto Lily's Kitchen or do another review in Lily's Kitchen. Um, but obviously I wasn't on Lily's Kitchen at the time. 
but I basically quarter this tray and they get a quarter for their breakfast and then a quarter for their dinner. So a tray lasts me a day. I mean, we only keep these refrigerated for up to two days, but, um, but because we only use this in a day, the tray gets used and the rest, uh, obviously the, the, the empty pack gets binned and I go on to a brand new one like the next day. So these are the two that we started them on and they absolutely loved it. It was great. Um, they are literally inhaling their food. They love it. Basically want more. Um, I know this one's not organic and this one's organic. Now I remember I was doing the video and Roxy's tear stains had basically almost disappeared with being on the organic. So when I done my order online, I still ordered very small. I didn't order like a full month's worth. I only ordered like two weeks worth. So I ordered in basically 14 trays of these, um, which will last me obviously two weeks. So um, I've ordered the organic chicken supper with carrots and peas. And I ordered the Lily's Kitchen adult chicken and vegetable bake with um, herbs. And this is the packet here. And again, I've only ordered a small bag. It's a one kilogram bag. Um, I know you can get a seven kilogram bag and that I probably will order after being on it for a couple of weeks, that's fine. Um, but I just ordered two small bags. So I've got two small bags of these and I've got this to get through, which will last me a while. And I've got 14 trays, so that will last me two weeks. And if this runs out before the dry food runs out, then I can always jump into pets at home and just pick up a couple of trays of this. It's no bother at all. Um, I am going to be sticking with the chicken, I think. Um, wet trays anyway just keep all the same flavour all the same no mi mixing and matching no nothing um so i ordered two of them and obviously 14 trays of them i also got with the order this food clip which i didn't actually think was going to be this big um, it's a bit excessive for a bag this size i think it's obviously more suited for a bigger bag um, which is fine, so it will do whenever I order, if I ever order, the 7 kilogram bag of the Lily's Kitchen. Um, so that is the green clip to clamp the bag shut. I also got a packet of the disposable waste bags and it's got like the wee map of Lily's Kitchen on it. I love these bags. I got a thing about put bags, I don't know, see cheap, like, see cheap put bags that you can literally feel the poop when you pick it up it's like horrible um, so I like a good thick quality bag to pick up your dog's mess plus I find it doesn't actually like stink your bin out as much the better quality bag that you have even if it's scented then that's great but I picked up some of these I also picked up some of the Truly Naturals Crispy Oat Bites now we've had this before okay so you need to wait you cheeky so this is them here and we've had these before they got them for Christmas for the first time um, and it's literally just um, where is the instructions for what it is so it's deliciously crunchy pork bind puffs so it's 100% pork filling and it's unseasoned it's packed protein and cooked and meaty taste and they remind me of like the crisp um, the cheesy quavers they're literally just like dehydrated um, or puffed up pork quavers, basically. Um, and your dog can have up to five a day, um, obviously depending on the size of your dog. And they have to be within they they have to be consumed within two weeks of opening. Um, so it's one that you have to like open and basically like finish. You can't like leave it open for any length of time. But this is what they look like. They just look like we kind of porky quavers basically. Do you like one? Come here then. Give me a kiss. Kiss. You'll be getting your dinner soon. Come here. You're up to no good. Come here. Give me a kiss. 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 Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Cheeky. There you go. And you can hear them crunching away. <laughs> My goodness. I 
and I just there's no seal it's a shame there's no seal to that bag so I just use like a peg and just seal it shut with a peg so that was our order really from Lily's Kitchen for the next two weeks and um, with that we got a free Lily's Kitchen um, ball um, tennis ball which is really good so we got that free in our order which is great for out the back garden so we're going to use that for out the back garden aren't we? Yes. But they absolutely love it. I'm excited to be back on Lily's Kitchen. I'm excited. I okay, you guys, so that is us. So I will leave the link to Lily's Kitchen down below in the description bar. You guys can go ahead and check it out for yourselves. I will also have some of our Lily's Kitchen videos down below in the description box for you guys to head over and check that out. But that is us. So please give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Leave us a comment down below in the comments box and let me know what you guys think of Lily's Kitchen if you've ever tried it before and if you have what is your dog's favorite flavor and that is us so thank you very much you guys for watching and i'll catch you in the next video bye guys bye.